What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jay Rich. It's Wednesday, November the 29th and here are my NBA best bets presented by Pinnacle Sportsbook, your trusted sportsbook for the past 25 years. If you have not signed up for the Silver Stakes Challenge, make sure you do so. You have the chance to win a $25,000 bet from Pinnacle. All you have to do is bet on the NBA, climb the leaderboard, and the winner will receive a $25,000 bet. So go to Pinnacle.com and sign up today. But now, let's get into the picks. So we got a seven game slate in the NBA today, which, you know, is okay, but there's definitely some value to be had. And last week I went down narrative street and of course it was the only bet that ended up hitting. So let's do it again this week because I do, I'm at least intrigued. I'm at least intrigued by the Los Angeles Lakers, even though I'm not so in on them on the road and you shouldn't be, they haven't been that great on the road this year, but playing against Detroit, coming off a very embarrassing loss against the Philadelphia 76ers. I think it's a great spot for LeBron James to say, F it, I need to win this game. And we need to win this game big. We need to get the team back on track. And against the Pistons, who are terrible, who haven't won a game in so long, it's like getting ridiculous at this point. I don't think they're going to win today, obviously, but I think the Lakers do cover. I think it's a great spot for LeBron and the Lakers to say, you know what? Let's just beat down the Pistons. We need a big win. We need to bounce back after what happened in Philly. And they're just going to take control, dominate the game, and win. While, you know, you look at the seven points, you say it's a lot for the Lakers to cover, especially with how they played on the road this season. I do agree with that sentiment, but I also believe in the fact that there's no way they come into this game and they're not motivated to crush the Pistons. To see what happened just a few days ago in Philly, you just can't have that happen consistently. And when you get have a get-right game like this against the Pistons, you have to take full advantage. You have to dominate them. You have to win the game handily. And I think that's what the Lakers do. I think it's a great spot for the Lakers today. So take the Lakers minus seven. You know, I've talked about how two and seven are those key numbers in the NBA. So it's right there for the Lakers. But I think they can cover this game pretty easily. And I do like the Lakers a lot in this matchup. Trusting LeBron, trusting his 4-0 record in his last four against the Pistons and five of six against the Pistons while being on the Lakers. So all that data really looking good today. Another one I do really like is the Utah Jazz to cover against the Memphis Grizzlies. Laurie Markkinen will not be playing in this contest, but he hasn't played in the last two games. Hasn't really mattered. They beat the Pelicans in two straight contests. I really like the Jazz to cover because Memphis just isn't very good. They've been losing players left and right. That's the biggest problem for Memphis. They just are not healthy. There's no continuity with the team. I just like the Jazz to cover the number. That's really all it is. I think it's going to be a close game. I think it's going to be tight. I think there's a small shot. They do win the game. I just don't like Memphis to cover. While they do have the better talent, their team is just too decimated. They don't have the back-end pieces. They don't have the bench. And when you have a team like Utah, who everybody's playing like 25, 30 minutes a game, they're very in sync, they're playing very well, very unselfish basketball that is putting together good performances. And then you have Memphis that's lost four straight and losing players almost every single week. And so you put those two things together. While I don't love the Jazz as a team, and I do believe they have the inferior talent. I think the continuity of the roster and the depth and the way they're playing right now lends themselves to cover this number. So give me the Jazz to cover the three and a half. I really like this spot for them. Again, it's not a great team, but it's a better team than Memphis. Memphis is sputtering. Memphis is spiraling. They're just not playing good basketball. And when they're losing players, it's only going to make that more and more difficult. So give me the Jazz today. Really like the Jazz to cover the number. So we got the Jazz and the Lakers right now. And last but not least, we are going back to Denver and a team I've talked about a lot this year, but we're not taking the spreads because I don't know who's going to cover this number, but we are taking the over 218. I like it up to 219, 219 and a half. I think this is a great spot. The reason why this number is going up, Jamal Murray is back. Championship Murray is going to be playing in this game. I would have taken Houston, but... Because Murray's back, I can't back Houston. I got to take the over. This is a game that has gone under in their previous two contests this season, but those games have been in Houston. I've talked about Houston plays much better at home than they have on the road, and now they have to come into Denver playing against the champs with Jamal Murray returning, which has been the biggest hindrance to this offense. They've struggled to score points with Murray out of the lineup. He is back today, and that's why this number is up a point and a half since it opened, and the spread is up almost three and a half. It's basically doubled. It opened at three and a half when it came out. Now it's at seven. It's because Murray is back or expected to be back. And if he is back, I believe this game will go over. Houston just put up 215 on the Mavs. I think that's a great spot. It doesn't need a lot of points here. 218, not crazy. Denver can put up 120, 115. And I think that Houston can get over that 100 mark and we clear this number fairly easily. 
Really like this spot. Love that Murray's coming back. Love the Nuggets at home. Liking what I've seen from Houston. They're playing much better. And so I do like that as well. But give me the over in this game. I think it's a great spot with Murray coming back. I think Jokic will be motivated. I think Houston is playing well as well. So I like these spots for both these teams. I like the way this number is trending. And I think at 218, it's still a fine number to take for an over. So give me the over between the Houston Rockets and the Denver Nuggets. And that is it for our best bets today. As always, you can find me on Twitter or X at your boy J Ridge. But quick recap, Denver Nuggets and Houston Rockets over 218. The Los Angeles Lakers to cover the seven points over the Detroit Pistons. And the Utah Jazz to cover the three and a half against the Memphis Grizzlies. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you are signed up to the Silver Stakes competition. And you are following Pinnacle on all of our socials. Until next time, good luck tonight. And as always, bet smart and bet Pinnacle. I'll see you guys next week. I'm out. Peace.